how you doing? How you doing? No, how are you doing? You guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you who do not know, my name is Sierra. And yeah, thank you guys for watching today's video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, now that we're officially friends, you guys can subscribe, okay? Okay, so let's get this video started. As you can tell from the title, we're doing the Q&A session. Huge, 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 huge thank you to all those who did ask questions um, and also enter the drawing. So we're gonna do that today too. As a matter of fact, I'm actually ready to write down all the questions that everybody asked on that video. And then I'm going to uh, basically write everybody down along with their question. And then we're gonna put it in this little box. And then once we get that done, we're gonna shake it up and just kind of draw it out. And whoever's name I draw first, that's the winner. Is everybody ready? Because we're gonna get this party started. All right, let me just hurry up and do this. It'll only take a second, well, for you guys watching. And yeah, let's go. All right, we got all these questions. Now I'm gonna cut them out. So let's do this. Okay, let's shake it up, stir it, and let's see who our winner is. I'm excited. Lucky winner here. Lucky winner here. Oh my gosh. No, I can't do that. Oh, oh well. She is, she's a down. She's down. She's down. She's been a subscriber since day one. I know this because y'all drum roll. Drum roll. I know this, I promise I did not plan this. You guys saw me shake it up, pull it out. <laughs> this wasn't planned, but, and I don't even wanna answer this question. Honestly, I don't even wanna answer this question. <sighs> you guys. <laughs> she's part, like I said, she's been a subscriber from day one. She gets notified because she sent me this screenshot. See? She sends me that screenshot when I up upload a video, and so she watches it right away. Y'all, ain't no better supporter than your sister. Yeah, my sister Juan. I'm so. <sighs> so, Sherilyn, shout out to you, girl. You win $20. And y'all, she, she needs it because she, she is going to college, you know. So shout out to Sherilyn, you won my giveaway. <laughs> Good job, girl. Alrighty, um, like I said, I don't even want to answer this question. <laughs> she asked, who's your favorite sibling and why? Really? Really? Oh, I don't, I don't have a favorite sibling. I love y'all all equally. You are all cool. Oh, by the way, I have two brothers and two sisters. Um, I have the older, I have, I'm the second oldest. Above me is my older brother, me, my little brother, my little sister, Sherilyn, and then my little sister, baby sister, Kiona. And it's actually Kiona's birthday tomorrow, so shout out to Kiona, because she watches my videos. Um, but yeah, uh, who my favorite sibling is, I don't have one. Yeah, no, I don't. Don't do this. All right, so shout out to you, Sherilyn. You won $20, girl. Also, I do wanna let you guys know, um, I do plan on doing more giveaways. Uh, so this isn't the last giveaway, y'all. There's gonna be more opportunities to win other things. Um, I'm about to get creative with it. So y'all get ready. All right, next question. 
Oh, this isn't a question. It's more like just a comment that I kind of wanted to point it out. Point out, uh, Matthew Lays. Uh, he commented, "Something isn't right here. You've already given us so much. Shouldn't your subscribers be giving you something to show your appreciation for all the videos you've published?" Your videos are of great interest, even to people on the other side of the world. Thank you. No, thank you, Matthew. Um, but I just kind of wanted to say, you know, um, editing and doing videos does take a lot of work and a lot of hours. Um, however, I just feel like I want to give back to you guys because you guys are watching me. You know, you guys are choosing to watch me. You guys are choosing to subscribe to me. So... Um, I don't have to give away $20. That's the thing. I want to. Like I said in the other video, some people might not see $20 or um, a whole lot or 100 subscribers a whole lot, but I do. It means a lot to me. Um, and y'all, <laughs> I hit 200 subscribers already. Well, 220 subscribers when I checked this morning. I love y'all. Um, but I do want to thank everybody for subscribing and Matthew if you if you do want to send me something you can send me something um, I'm actually gonna get a PO box uh, very soon. So if you want um, Yeah, I'm gonna get a PO box so you guys can send me something and uh, a PO box costs money out here y'all in the city. Um, I know on the res. It's only like 12 20 dollars. I think to get like three months or something like that it was like $80 if I'm not mistaken so it costs money for me to get this um, but I do want to you know receive some things or letters or cards or anything like that so and I do I do do Christmas cards too so if you send me a Christmas card I'm gonna send you a Christmas card all right next one is going to be Michelle and Ayana. Michelle is uh, our, I don't know if you want me to put your name out there, girl, but uh, Michelle is actually in my, uh, in my Tuba City vlog, my previous vlog, and Ayana. We went to the parade and we got all the candy we could get together. Um, but she asked, are you flexible? Girl, I wish I was flexible. I'm not, I have a bad back. <laughs> No joke, I do have a bad back, so if you're young, stay young. All right, Sheena Ethi, what's your favorite restaurant? Girl, I, I don't have a favorite restaurant. I like them all, but if I had to choose one, anything with wings. So um, it just depends, like depends on what kind of mood I'm in. You know, like if I want Italian, I usually like to go to like Carrabba's or um, I forget what this place is called, but uh, like if I, I'm, I'm more of like a wings and burger type of girl, so I'm very simple. I like to go to just, um, just like native New Yorker, or um, let me see where else do they have good burgers, Red Robin. Um, but yeah, I just simple girl. I don't, you know. I don't know. I don't necessarily have a favorite, favorite, absolute favorite restaurant. I don't think I do, do I? No, I don't. So, but yeah, it just depends on my mood. Cheyenne Begay. Shout out to Cheyenne Begay. She's actually a good supporter. I've actually known her since high school. Uh, I don't think we've seen each other recently, though. No. But shout out to you, girl. Uh, will you try... Would you, would you try a, bin, a bean boozle challenge? Yes, that would be fun. I do want to try that. I just got to find the right people to do it with. Um, so that would be definitely fun. Uh, Fina asked, what's your favorite childhood memory? Um, probably just growing, you know, just growing up with my brothers and sisters. Um, like I said, I had two brothers and two sisters. Definitely a lot of memories there, definitely a lot of trouble there, definitely a lot of fights, definitely, yeah, you name it all. But I love them and um, try to see them as much as possible. They're all back on the res, so um, whenever I can go back, I try to go back, but it's pretty hard. Um, but yeah, just having brothers and sisters to grow up with is the best memory of them all. Um, all right. So John John, who said, he's one of my notification squad 
and also the Snapchat squad. Damn, John John, I like you. We's going places, me and you. Um, but yeah, if you do want to be part of the notification squad, make sure you're subscribed. Make sure to hit the bell button so it'll tell you like when I post the video. And also, if you want to be part of my Snapchat squad, hit me up right here, right here, right here, right here. Follow me. Um, I do post on Snapchat a lot. So yeah, follow me there. And he asked, who was your inspiration on starting your YouTube channel? Who? Um, I guess there's not really a who. It just basically was just me. Um, I just felt like I needed a kick to do something new and I that's what I did I just started on my own as far as like um, I guess other people when I did decide like you know I'm gonna do this I'm going to um, you know see what other people are out there things like that and I did um, for Instagram there's this really cool awesome um, she's a blogger and she's on Instagram she's called the fancy Navajo she posts a lot of like things to eat things to do um, outfits of the day type of thing a lot of like Navajo type of stuff which I really like so she's pretty cool I like to follow her on Instagram so if you're not following her follow her and also just um, when I started doing a lot of YouTube research watching other people watching other vloggers um, I just yeah started uh, watching people and seeing what they were doing what they weren't doing and just kind of finding my own style so that's how I kind of just was inspired to just start my YouTube stuff um, I know somebody asked uh, who my favorite youtubers are so I'll answer that when I get that question um, Michelle and Ayana asked what type of equipment do you use um, I don't use anything really I just use my iPhone which I think I have an iPhone 8 and my little tripod so that's all I use um, my excuse for the longest time before I started uh, my first vlog was I want to get a camera and then I'll start but that was like a year ago and then finally I just was like you know what I'm gonna use my phone it, it'll be fine I can just do what I want to do and that's what I did and I actually like the phone because I have it everywhere I go you know I it can fit anywhere you know stuff like that so that's all I use uh, Michelle and Ayana asked another question uh, Ayana asked what is your favorite food um, I'm right now I'm trying to be very like um, healthy so I've been trying to do a lot of healthy eating, uh, cooking at home type of thing. So I really like uh, chicken mixed with like some veggies or a good salad, you know, things like that. Girl is trying to get fit. Um, let's see, the next person, Cheyenne Begay, what do you hope to achieve with your YouTube channel? Um, I haven't actually really thought of that. I just, what do I hope to achieve, I guess? Just, um, I know a lot of my subscribers are like people who live in the city and don't get to go back to the res a whole lot, but I actually, you know, I do live in a city and that's Phoenix and I get to go, go home probably I want to say at least if that once a month and I just kind of want to show that part, you know, like how I transition, how I'm, how that transition works, I guess being here but also wanting to be back home and spend time with family doing all the traditional stuff and you know just all of that I just feel like that's what people like and enjoy to watch so um, every time I go home I'll definitely post a vlog about all all that's happening all right next question Tiffany Franklin asked who's your favorite football team girl it's the Broncos the Broncos hands down Alright, next question. Fina asked, what's your favorite season and why? Um, my favorite season would have to be fall. I love fall because the weather starts to cool down a whole lot here in Phoenix, so I love that. Um, and just, I mean, winter's cool too. I don't mind winter, but we don't get a whole lot of snow here. Um, it hasn't been snowing a lot, so I do like snow, but sometimes it's a little cold, but I like fall. 
um, because I can start hiking again. The weather's awesome. Um, but anyways, John John, would you collaborate with other cinema cinematographers? Yes, I would. So if you want to do a video with me, let me know. Even if you're not like a YouTuber or anything like that, I'll still do a video with you. We'll think of something. Definitely down for that. All right, next question. Navajo Amanda. Shout out to Navajo Amanda. She has her own channel. Y'all go subscribe to her channel. Um, and congratulations on your baby. She's about to have a baby, y'all. All right, so she asked, what inspired me to start making videos? Um, like I said, just myself. Um, and also, when I did, uh, I didn't, I don't think I mentioned this before, but when I did start my, um, my whole YouTube stuff, I was just kind of, I felt like I was just very sad um, at the time. And I, um, I was going through a lot at the time. I was going through a layoff, so I didn't, I didn't have a job. I was just going through like, that was the main thing, was just ha not having a job. You know, of course I was making money, I was working, but not like a nine to five professional, um, what I went to school with, to, what I went to school for type of thing. Um, I was Uber driving, I was doing Amazon Prime orders, I was doing grocery shopping for other people. Like that just, it, it was just, yeah, it, it just wasn't working for me. I mean, it was fun, like meeting other people and stuff like that, but uh, once, yeah, after a while when you're just applying for jobs, you know, that you're, um, that you're experienced to do, it just puts a whole... A whole negative energy around you when you you know when you're reading these I'm sorry uh, we went with someone else or I'm sorry the position has been filled you know after you've been looking forward to it and you're like oh my gosh this sounds like a really cool job I really want to work there all this stuff but anyway so that's what I was going through I was going through a hard time um, it was definitely putting a lot on my mind um, and so the reason why I started my channel was just to kind of you know bring myself back up and bring my confidence level up and just fulfill my time to do something extra with my day. Um, so that definitely helped get me through a lot. So, um, yeah. So I guess me just, I inspired myself because that's the only person you can inspire all the time is yourself. So you guys, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling like you're not good enough, you know, things like that, do something that will make you feel better because I, I promise you, it'll help. It'll help. Um, all right, Michelle and Ayana asked, are you interested in acting school? That would actually be cool. I wouldn't mind doing that. I mean, if someone want to pay my school tuition, I'll do it. I will do it. All right. Cheyenne Begay, are you willing to do a haunted house vlog? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I'll be scared, honestly. But if I do get a chance, I would I would do it. I would vlog it. I would do it for the vlog. You want to know what that's that's my recent saying um, with my friends is do it for the vlog. All right, I'm gonna do it for the vlog. I'm gonna jump off this cliff for the vlog. I'm just kidding. I won't do that. But it's yeah, a lot of it is doing it for the vlog. Hashtag do it for the vlog. All right, Tiffany Franklin asks, would you want kids in the future? girl I, I definitely would um yeah i would want kids i just gotta find gotta find me a hot specimen to do it with and not just any specimen not just any hot specimen you know a girl's gotta make sure she's good first though so all right next question sheena Ethy, what what do you do for work what do i do for work um i actually like I still do a whole lot of things for work. Um, my main nine to five, I do graphic design. I, um, I'm a graphic designer uh, for a pharmaceutical company, for our pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical provider company. And they, um, I basically am design, I, I'm hired to do like uh, a lot of design work for pharmaceutical companies. So let's say they want, a brochure done or maybe they want an email template done or maybe they want 
fulfillment letters done where they send out reminders, you know, those those letters you get when you your copay is expiring or things like that, or even copay cards. I do those. I design those. Um, I design uh, packaging. I do all kinds of stuff. But I love my job there, uh, so that's where I work my nine to five graphic design. I also do freelance graphic design as well as a freelance photographer, which reminds me I do have a few jobs right now that I'm currently working on. Um, I'm working with Valley Metro on updating their mapping, um, the map design stuff. So if you don't know, Valley Metro is a public transportation here in Phoenix area. And yeah, so you might have saw my work if if you do take public transportation or you look on their website, my work is on there, y'all. Um, I also do like, yeah, freelance. I do logo designs, I do uh, photography. I actually have an upcoming wedding that I have to get ready for in November. And um, otherwise, that's basically all I do. I still do Amazon orders whenever I can basically just delivering uh, Amazon packages sometimes I do uber I haven't done it in a long time but yeah the uber stuff I just I'm just over it but anyways that's what I do so next question John John said after binge watching your vlogs I tried recording myself but I can't do it yeah it's kind of hard at first because I mean well at I was pretty used to it already because I was all over Snapchat and just kind of recording myself and I'll, I'll go for days out. I, I mean, I do a lot of Snapchat sometimes and I got to rem remind myself like you need to stop. You need to stop posting. People don't want to see you all the time. So that's when I started my YouTube. That's why. But do you go to film school? If so, what advice would you give people who haven't gone? No, I don't go to film school. I have never been. I've never taken a class on how to record. I've never done all that. Um, however, like you heard before, I am a photographer. So I do have cameras and like equipment for photography, but not filming videos. Um, and a lot of people I know, especially my friends, they ask, how come you don't use your cameras that you have to do videos? Because they're heavy and I cannot like go like this all day with, or not all day, but like, when I record, it's just, it's not gonna work because it's heavy and also bulky, so I can't take it everywhere, you know. Um, but yeah, I definitely wanna invest in a camera sometime soon. The only advice I can give if you do wanna start your own channel, if you do wanna start vlogging and things like that, is just do it, you know, just do it and be consistent and post something at least every week. That was my goal, was post at least one video a week and then it, came, it turned into two videos a week. So it just, yeah, that's how you basically grow your audience, get people to want to know you and want to watch you and things like that. And also I think a lot of it has to do with your personality. Um, if you're, I don't consider myself outgoing. Actually, I'm like in between. I'm like in between outgoing and a quiet person. Like I can be quiet, especially at work. Like at work, I don't, mm -mm, I'm, I'm, I'm at my desk. I'm focused, I'm doing my work type of thing. But when I leave, oh, I'm the loudest person ever. I'm just kidding, I'm not the loudest person ever. But yeah, you just, I guess you just have to know your place. Um, but like I said, at work I'm very professional. When I'm out with my friends, I can be pretty loud. But um, yeah, just, you know, just do it. Just just do it and see what, it, what happens. Like, who's it gonna hurt, you know? All right. So Sheena Ethi asks, do you do you watch other YouTubers? If so, who is your favorite YouTuber? Um, yes, I do watch other YouTubers. Like I said before, you know, I spent a lot of time watching a whole all these other YouTubers and seeing what they were doing and stuff like that. Um, my favorite YouTubers, I don't know if it shows on my channel under um, channels I watch, but m most of those are the ones that I mainly watch um, because I'm subscribed to them. But let me see, a list of them would probably be just a t off the top of my head. Um, definitely Natalie Franklin. She's a native YouTuber from Cameron, Arizona area. Um, I love her channel. She actually shouted me out on her, um, on her, what do you call it? 
on the fair vlog. So I definitely appreciated that because I know some of my new subscribers subscribed after, um, after that video came out. And then let me see, Sherry Lee, she um, is also another native YouTuber. She's more like a, a vlogger as well. She does lifestyle videos with her little one who is so cute. She has a little family. Um, so I enjoy watching her. I enjoy watching, like I said, Navajo Amanda. She's she's cool to watch. She's expecting and also does a lot of vlogs and um, lifestyle type of videos. Uh, I also watch, who else do I watch? Of course the Ace family because they're pretty big on YouTube right now. So, well, pretty, pretty humongous big. Um, in the YouTube world, so I enjoy watching them. Um, but as far as like other native YouTubers, I hope I'm not forgetting anybody else. Um, oh, my friend, uh, Pretty Boy Clan is Joey uh, from my, from, I, we went to high school together and funny thing is, is he found me because I haven't seen him since I probably I left high school. I think that's the last time I seen him. So shout out to Joey. Y'all go sub sub subscribe to him, follow him. He, um, he does a lot of videos that are, I guess, more like the happening things on the res type of things. So that's what he does. Um, so definitely subscribe to him. Um, let me see. Oh, like I said, I haven't seen him since probably the day we left high school, the day we graduated together was probably the last time I seen him, but he found me commenting someone else's video. And yeah, then he commented mine and was like, oh my gosh, it's Sierra. All right. <sighs> I think that's it. I mean, you can, I'll put a list, a whole list in my description box so you can check them out. Um, see if you like them, subscribe, support other YouTubers. And if you do YouTube yourself, let me know so I can follow you or maybe you're like an Instagram person and you do photography or design work or you know any jewelry making or whatever. Let me know and I'll follow you back. Also you can just follow my Instagram if you want. Here's the link and um, but yeah Instagram definitely follow me on there if you want to follow me. Uh, I think that's it. Oh. Also, I do want to note, um, if you do follow me on Instagram, I, I usually try to follow back, but sometimes if, you're, if your um, profile is on private, I will most likely not follow you back because I don't know if you want to be followed back because you're on private. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say that part of it. Cheyenne Begay, after reading this giveaway, will you answer all the questions in the new vlog? Yes. It's this vlog for this Q&A session. Q&A! Tiffany Franklin asked, how long have you lived in Phoenix? Um, I lived here, well, I first came down here in 2006, fall of 2006, because that's when I started going to ASU. And I've basically been here since. I mean, of course, I went home for like the summers while I was in college and stuff like that. But after I graduated, I stayed here, um, continued to stay here and still here, y'all. All right. Tiffany Franklin, where do you work? Um, I don't want to specifically say where just because I would like to keep this YouTube stuff and work professional stuff away, you know, separate. Um, but like I said, I work for a pharmaceutical provider, one of the biggest providers here, um, well, in the US. So that's where I work. John John, I mean, you might see it like slip maybe like on Snapchat video or something like that, but that's a slip. But otherwise, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to say no names. I don't want to say no companies on here. Okay. Thanks. All right. John John asks, what's your vlogging year? I don't have no year. I just, just my tripod, my phone and me. <laughs> All right. Next video. John John asks. Oh, John John said, whoever wins can buy two Piccadillys with $20. So, Sherilyn, you can win two Piccadillys. I mean, you want two Piccadillys. She don't eat Piccadillys, though. Um, I've never tried a Piccadilly. Um, all right, John John. 
asked, would you want to do YouTube full time? Uh, I think so. That would be fun. Like just working from home, doing videos for you guys, uh, doing fun stuff all day. That would be cool. Um, but I would probably still do like my freelance design and photography work, which reminds me if you need design or photography work, hit me up. I got you. Tiffany Franklin asked, what's my clan? Oh, um, my clan is Hoan Thane Nishle, Hesh Lishni Bushish Chin, Kia Ani Dasha Che, Bits Ani Dasha Nale. Translated in English, that is the Mud People Clan. Hesh Lishni, wait, Hoan Thane? Oh, I got it all mixed up. Uh, Hoan Thane Nishle is uh, the Mini Hogan Clan. Hesh Lishni is the Mud People Clan. Uh, Kia Ani is the Towering House Clan. Bitsakni is a Folded Arms Clan. So, yeah. Tiffany Franklin, are you going to vlog during the Nelly concert? Yes, yes I did. Um, I did vlog the concert. So you guys can see that in my previous video. I'll put the link below. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Nelly put on a good show, y'all. All right, what is your favorite type of music? Sheena Ethi. My favorite type of music, I like all types of music, but I probably listen to the most hip hop and R&B. And I do go to a lot of hip hop shows. So you'll be seeing those. Which reminds me, I need to do my, um, I did go to a Drake concert. So I need to um, post that video or edit and post. Cheyenne B.A. asks, will you and your bestie do a Kiki challenge? Absolutely not. People get hurt in that challenge. And I can't dance. <laughs> so, no, I can't do that. All right, Sheena Ethi, when is your birthday? My birthday is April 6th, girl. Thanks for asking. So, now you guys can send me a birthday card. April 6th, I'll post the P.O. box when I get it. All right. Fina asks, what's your favorite native food slash dish? Really? I can't. My absolute favorite, I don't have a favorite because I like them all. I mean, vegetable, mutton and vegetable stew. Oh, see, it, it ties that with steamed corn stew, which ties it with fried bread, which ties it with tortillas, which ties it with just everything in the world. I can't, I like all the foods actually. I like all the foods and I try to eat it every time I go home. I just, I just can't pick one. Not gonna happen. All right. Next and last question. Yep. Next and last question. Michelle and Ayana. Does your hair get crazy? <laughs> yes, it gets crazy all the time. But today I fixed it for you guys. See? Fixed my hair. I'm thinking about cutting my hair. But I don't want to at the same time. Um, but yeah, that is it for the Q&A. If you have any questions, comment below. Um, if you have any suggestions, comment below. If you have anything at all, comment below. But make sure you like this video before you comment, okay? All right, well, I think that's it for this video. I don't think I have anything else to say. No, I don't. But that is it for the video. No questions. Questions are done, and y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I answered all your questions, but of course, if you have any more questions, let me know. Uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to follow me on my social media if you wanna know more about me. Um, otherwise, I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thank you for watching today's video. Okay, bye, 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 bye.